Hi everyone, my name is Dominique. Today I have a Coles grocery haul to show you. If you're if you're new here today, welcome. Today I'm just going to run through our weekly groceries that I bought for our family. And um, sometimes I do Woolworths or Aldi. And today I'm just going to do Coles, just something different for everyone. Um, after this video today, if you're interested, I'm going to run through what are in, what ingredients I'll be putting in each meal accordingly to the meal planner and I'll pop that up on the screen while I'm talking so basically on Monday night I'll show you what ingredients will be going into that meal and every other night as well so just um yeah just showing you the ingredients I won't be cooking the meals today just showing you what I'm going to be using for each meal with this Coles grocery haul today I spent $235 there's a few items I didn't get. I'm not sure if they got put in the cart. Sometimes I find that they don't, I don't add them to the cart and I think I have added them. So now I'll show you the things that I've got. Okay, this week I've grabbed three loaves of bread. I've got us some soft sandwich loaf bread for the kids. I've also got some hamburger buns there, which I'll show you in the meal planner that what I'll be doing with them. And I've also just got some um, a traditional white high top bread. And also just a loaf of the high fiber wholemeal bread sandwich loaf. So um, what I do with them is I just pop them in the freezer. The buns are going to be used for um, a meal this week. So I've just grabbed a bag of onions there because we've been, um, I've just run low on onions. Sometimes I don't check and I get to a meal and I don't have any left. Okay, I've also grabbed some free range eggs. I usually get two of these and I'm not sure why I didn't. But um, yeah, I see how we go. Sometimes we go through around about one and a half of these a week, but we'll see. Okay, over here the back here, I've got some chickpeas. I've also got some um, John West tuna. I got some peaches for one of our desserts this week. So I've also grabbed some balsamic vinegar, um, balsamic dressing. I've just thought we haven't got many dressings in our house, so I just wanted to grab that and that's gonna go with a meal also this week. I've got some Australian brown medium grain rice. We're out of brown rice and that's going to go with one of the meals as well. Some chickpeas, um, some peach slices because we're running low on them but they're going to go into a dessert and they're just going to go into a dessert this week. And also I've just got some tuna because that's going to be in a meal also. We've got some Worcestershire sauce. I love having Worcestershire sauce. I should probably start buying the bigger bottle of this because we go through it so quickly. I've got some ranch dressing. I really like this one, so I like that one for me. The kids just like any mayonnaise. Um, I've also just grabbed a bottle of ginger as well for some meals. We've run out of soy sauce, so I've got some soy sauce, and I've got two bottles of lemon juice this week because we always have lemon juice in the fridge because lemons this week were a little bit expensive usually i can pick them up for like two dollars a bag but i didn't get any this week so we just got that one okay i've also got some uh, baked oaty slices the choc chip ones um it, my child's going on a lot of excursions at the moment and things like that so i've just grabbed a few of these sort of things so it makes it a lot easier for him to take throughout the day without being refrigerated so this week i'm probably not going to be baking anything as such I've just got a few other things instead. I've just got some sultanas because uh, they'll just go, they're just easy to pop into a bag for him to take places. I got these Cadbury's mini rolls. These are delicious if you can get them at your shop. And I think they're on special for under $2 this week. That's why I got them. And then over here, I've just got some two packets of the snacks. These are on special this week for two boxes for $10. So $5 for four, for 12 um, value pack. It's a really good price, so I thought, why not? I'm always buying the snacks. It's something we always have, and I can throw them in my handbag. They don't go off. They're great. I got the tasty cheese, and I also got the French onion one, so they should last us quite a while now. I'll possibly be putting a box into... I'll be putting our box away in the other um, stock-up pantry because they'll be gone if I put them all out. These are on special as well, the Kinder Chocolates. I like having these as a treat to put in the um, cupboard for them. They're a good size bar. I've also got a pack of Tic Tacs there. I've also got some um, coconut water, the Coco Bella one. This was on special this week. I don't often drink a lot of um, coconut water, but I like to put it in my smoothies sometimes to replace milk. Um, the V8s were on special, so I got them. I just got two. I think they were two for $7 or something like that. 
Um, the healthy greens one, I also got the purple power. I'm not quite sure. The kids probably won't drink this. The colors are just not kid friendly for my kids. They see something that color, they won't drink it. But I'll see how I can go with it. And I also got three bottles of the large soda water. These are really cheap. I could never get the two liters of soda water before. We do drink a lot of soda water in our house. But as you can see, we do have a soda stream there. So the soda stream's great, but I need to get to Big W this weekend to replace the gas. And this weekend, we've got a really busy weekend ahead of us. So I'm not sure if we will be um, getting the gas this weekend for the soda stream, but I got the three bottles of that anyway. So there's two liters, there's six liters there. I got some silver lined gloves. I like to have a few packs of these just in case. I always use the gloves for cleaning and um, I'm not very good at keeping my gloves on for washing up. I really need to start doing that. Okay, looking at the fruit now, I have bought more fruit than food, more fruit and vegetables than food this week, as you can see, but that's a good thing as well. All right, so I'll just start, I've spoken about the onions. Okay, I'll just start here. I've got three avocados, I think they're about $1.50 this week. Okay, I've grabbed a, a bag of gala apples. I've got a heap of mandarins. These were on special too, so I grabbed them. Um, yeah, I just find them a lot easier sometimes than, than um, oranges, so I just, I usually pre peel these for the kids and put them in their lunch boxes. These have come down in price, these have come down in price so much now, they're only $2 a, a carton for 125 grams. I think that's so good, I probably should have got two of them, but they go really quickly I find. It, you know, in a family of four, you probably get a couple each. Okay, I've also got a cabbage, these are going to go into meal plans this week and also um, the broccoli as well. The broccoli is just a um, bunch there, but I'm the only one that really eats broccoli, so that will do me for sure. I got a lettuce, which was two dollars this week. Um, these are going into a meal. This is the sugar snap peas. Oh, I needed to get the other ones, but they've given me the sugar snap peas because they were out of stock on the other peas. But that's okay as well. I've also grabbed three cucumbers here, and also a bunch of bananas. They've gone up in price a little bit now, and I'm, this is the one I've sort of doubled up on. I thought, actually there's a few items that I didn't, that didn't come, like my cereal and things, but I'm not sure what happened there. Australian Baby Leaf Blend, and this is the $5 bag. I'm pretty sure they've substituted this for me, so I'm really happy about that, even though I didn't want to order it at the beginning because I put it in my cart, and then I found the lettuce was a lot cheaper, so I forgot to take it out, which I do that all the time. Because I don't, sometimes I don't go and review the cart as well as I should. Oh, okay, the thing I was thinking of before was the snow peas. So I couldn't think of it. It was the snow peas that I wanted. Instead, they've given me the sugar snap peas. Yes, I did order. I did order 120 grams of this. But instead, they've given me the um, 300 grams for $5 instead of $2. So you've got to love your substitutes when you get a good deal on that. Okay, I'm going to go get the meat now and I'll put it out on the bench. It's just really starting to get hot here, so I haven't done that yet. But I'll go and grab that now. Okay, so I've grabbed the um, uh, pizza spinach one this week. That was only $3.95 this week, so I've got that. I did want to get the pepperoni one, but they were out of stock. They, went, they seemed to go really quickly. I've also grabbed the kids some party pies. I got the big pack, the 24 pack of these. The other ones just go too small. They're too small, the smaller pack, so I just grabbed those ones for them. And I got these, I really like these. If you haven't tried them and you like meringue, these are delicious. These are the Pampas Lemon Meringues. They are pretty close to like getting them at a restaurant, I think, or getting them at a bakery or anything like that. But they're a great price. I think they're around about $5.80, which is fine because you get four of them and they're quite a large serving. And I was gonna get some apricot pies, but I thought better of it because this has already got like the meringue on top. I don't even have to add cream with it. So that's perfect. So that's um, like our frozen things for the week. Okay, coming over to the milks. I bought three liters of milks this week instead of the two liters. I'm finding that the fridge is take, getting taken up with a lot of the two liters, even though these are a lot heavier for the kids to pick up. So sometimes that's harder. That's why I stopped buying this milk, the three liters of milk, because the kids were like pouring it out and it was going everywhere. So I try, I'll try this one again. So I ended up getting four of these this week all up. I got two of the, um, two lights, two of the full cream milk. So all up, we've got 12 liters of milk. So got some cream because I like to have the cream for things. I got these again because I like the um, Primo Pastrami. So I got the Primo Pastrami, that's really yummy. 
no one really likes it but me so I'm happy with that and also I got some chicken breast as well for the kids just something different other than ham and salami this week for sandwiches okay I've got a big corned beef and I'm going to show you soon that's going to be um, one of our meals this week I'm not going to end up going to get probably meat and vegetables to that this week and do a big meat haul, a big bulk meat shop. I'm not going to get over that way this week, so I've ended up buying meat at Coles this week. Okay, so um, yeah, I've, I'll just show you the back here as well. I just got some of the tasty light cheese. I usually buy the craft cheese, but I got this one instead this week. And I also just got some cooking butter, like oh, just unsalted butter. I'm going to use that for cooking. And I couldn't help myself but to buy these this week. These were only these were only two dollars twenty-five. I'll show you. These were only $2.25 a carton this week of six. They're um, 900 grams all up. So it's nearly a kilo of yogurt for $2.25. So I got the mountain berries and I also grabbed the vanilla sensation. So I thought what a good price that they go until the 22nd of November. So there's a little bit of time left on that. And we go through it pretty quickly. Even though I did make the easy yo this week, my home, the homemade like easy go i'm really happy with that but we've already gone through about a half a carton of that already me and my youngest had a fair bit of it before it was really yummy and i just got the big pack of um, thin barbecue sausages and i got some uh, thigh fillets for one of our meals and i also grabbed some tenderloins because i'm going to make um a little bit of a meal prep with that for um for lunchtime meals possibly just for um my youngest and my husband because my other one's at school and also I've got some um, beef mints I haven't tried this mince before but it was a lot cheaper I'm not I don't know how much fat is in it doesn't actually say much about it it's $11 a kilo so it was $17 for um, 1.5 kilo or 1.1.5 kilos 1.5 kilos was $17 I just like buying it in the big pack like this and then I can just sort of um, bag it down as well all right so that's our grocery haul for today um, if you're interested in looking at what I'm going to put in our meals for the week then that will come after this but anyway so that's our grocery haul today and um, yeah so I'll go into the next part okay I'm just going to show you today the ingredients that go into each of our meals that we're going to have this week so um, let's see all right so firstly because I did this grocery haul a day earlier this week if I go back to my meal planner, um, we we're supposed to have like the pork roast from last week, which we did have earlier in the week. We changed it up a bit, but also on that meal planner, we were supposed to have steak and onion pie, and that, which is what we're going to be having tonight, and tonight's Thursday. Okay, so the steak and onion pie, um, the ingredients I'm going to be just putting in that are pretty simple. I've just got some gravy powder here, so you know I'll make up in the gravy sauce. I've also just got some onions, two onions. You can put one onion in. You don't need two. I just, um, yeah, I like it to be a little bit more like a braised steak. I've also got um, two carrots here and probably around about you know, half a cup to a cup of peas will go in. The kids really don't like peas or one doesn't. So I have to sort of pull his out at the end. And I've also just got the rump that I want to use from the, um, the bulk meat haul. And I don't have much rump here. There's probably only one piece of rump, but that's enough to give it that steaky flavor. And I've also got some um, mince here. So uh, between that, that'll be enough to make a pie and I'll be able to get through you know, enough um, for all of us, make a pie out of that for all of us. And also I'll be probably using around about two sheets of puff pastry. I may use three. It just depends. Maybe two and a half pieces of puff pastry will go on to that meal. Okay, so that one is our um, Thursday night meal and that's our steak and onion pie that we're going to make there okay this ne the next one is friday night and i'm going to be cooking a honey lemon chicken stir fry i really love like soy sauce and um like a teriyaki sort of chicken but this has got a lemon juice in it as well so it should be really nice so i'll just show you i'll just run through the ingredients that i'll be putting in this one it's pretty simple it's just going to be the honey and also the soy sauce we're going to have the lemon so i've just got some of the um you know the lemon juice here just to make it easier fresh lemon would be great if you've got that um, and I'm also just going to use some corn flour to sort of thicken it up some oil obviously to fry the chicken in I've got the chicken thigh here 
So we've just got chick we've just got um it's about six pieces, I think I think about six chicken thighs there, which is about what the recipe asked. So that's enough for the four of us anyway. And also I'm going to be using um onions. So I've got two onions there, so make it um easy there. I like to have a lot of onions in there. Ginger, I didn't get fresh ginger this week. It was a little bit expensive, so I just ended up with a jar of ginger. Sometimes with teriyaki, I just put the dry ginger in. But instead, they I said instead of that this week, I just thought I'd use the uh, Master Foods ginger, and I've got some more for other another time as well. I've got some garlic, which I'll probably only put like um one or two cloves of garlic in there. I won't be putting the whole lot of garlic in. And snow peas, I, they didn't have snow peas in the um in at Coles this week, or well, they'd run out. So I just ended up getting the sugar snap peas, which is the same thing anyway. These are quite these are quite cute. They're nice. It's just something different for the kids. They haven't really had many sugar snap peas or snow peas before. So I'm hoping they'll like to eat them cold. But they sort of go on top of the um, thing and get cooked around for a little while in the meal. And I've also just got some carrot here, there as well. And I've got a brown rice, which is what will be going with it, which is good because it'll be a real filler, the brown rice. And it will be a lot um, more probably filling than the white rice that I normally do put with it. And I've also got some broccoli, which will be going in. Um, no one eats it other than me, so I'm going to just sort of fry that up and throw it in at the end of the meal because it's um, something that they won't eat if they see that on their dish. But other than that, that's Friday night, and that's the honey lemon chicken stir fry. So it's a tuna and rice salad bowl, and it's pretty easy. I'm just going to put some brown rice with it. That's going to be used again from the previous night's meal. We've got avocado here. That's pretty hard at the moment, so that will need to ripen up. Um, we've got lemon juice and also tuna. So I've got a heap of tuna there. I've also got um, some cucumber. So basically you just sort of get the carrot and you get the cucumber and you make it look um, all swirly and peel it up, make it look pretty. I probably don't have that sort of a machine, but I'm going to try and grate, like peel it like as long as I can to make it like into a sort of like, you know, like the snaky sort of thing they do with the salads. I'm going to try and do that, but I may not succeed, but it'll probably all taste the same anyway. Okay, so you've got the cucumber and the carrot you're going to do that with. You're going to put the avocado on top. Basically, it's just the rice, the tuna, and you're just going to make like a, a bowl out of it, a bowl for everyone to share. You can just put it on the table like that too. So you put a, I'm just going to do it that way. I'm just going to put a big bowl on the table put the brown rice, I'm going to put the tuna on top, I'm going to swirl all the um, cucumber and the carrots, I'm going to top it with, actually, sorry about that, this curry, uh, sorry about that, the curry was not supposed to be in there, that was for another meal, so I'll just take that one out, and I'll also take that one out. And I've also got some lemon juice here, and that's just um, to pour on top of like the, the um, salad mix that you've got. And I've got some balsamic vinegar. I might even put that on there. You can put any sort of dressing if you want to. And I've also got ranch. I really like the ranch dressing. So I might even um, put a little bit of that in there as well, those two um, salad dressings, just to see what it's like. So that one is for Saturday, and that's the tuna, rice, and salad bowl. Okay, the next meal is for um, a Sunday night, and we're going to have a sausage curry bake tray. So I'm just going to put everything on one tray and just cook it like that. It's so much simpler. It's so simple that way. So I've just got the sausages here. I'm going to put chickpeas in it. This recipe doesn't ask for chickpeas, but I'm just putting them in as like a filler. And I'm also going to put, um, obviously, okay, so the brown rice. So obviously also the brown rice can get put into this as well, just to make it like a little bit more starchy and something else to eat, you know, other than just the sausages with the chickpeas. I've got two carrots here, um, you know, you can put whatever you want in there, whatever you've sort of got in the fridge for vegetables. I've got some baby peas here, which I'm going to pop in, them in as well. Um, so I've got two carrots, baby peas, I've got some garlic, and also, I haven't added there, sorry, I've also got two onions as well, onions there as well that I'm going to want to put in there. So this is a really pretty easy recipe. You can also put potatoes in if you didn't want to put rice in it. But this is just, um, yeah, just a basic curry sort of a th um, bake. And um, what else have I got? I'm going to put parsley in there. I just haven't gone to the garden and got it out yet because I didn't want to, like, waste it. But I'm going to put parsley as well. 
And um, yeah, you can put bread with this, like just, just sort of dip it into the curry sauce, but I'm gonna put the brown rice instead. So this week the kids are gonna end up with a lot of brown rice and hopefully a lot of energy. Um, but yeah, so this is just sausages, chickpeas, corn flour, chicken stock. I missed the chicken stock there, so I'll put up probably a cube or cube of chicken stock in. I've got some um, Keens curry powder that's going to go in as well. It's actually quite strong, I find the Keens. I really like it. So that's our um, Saturday, Sunday night meal there. Just a really easy thin beef barbecue sausages I've got, but I'm only going to probably use around about a kilo of sausages there. That's a two kilo. Is it a two kilo? It's a nearly a two kilo thing of sausages there. I just thought it was a lot cheaper to buy it that way. So that's um, Sunday night. Okay, the next meal is going to be hamburgers and this is going to be for Monday night. It's a really sort of easy recipe here. I don't use, I don't use egg or I don't use a breadcrumb. So it is, um, it is very filling, the meat patties that I make. I just find that sometimes they crumble more for me when I put all that sort of thing in it. So I just prefer to just, just use meat. It does work out a lot more expensive. So um, yeah, if you can put breadcrumbs and egg with it and get more out of it, then do so because that's, it, is a, it is a more efficient way to do it. But this one is just um, the way I cook hamburgers. So I've got a big thing of this Table Foods um, mince out here. I haven't bought this brand before, but it's around about a uh, kilo and a half, a little bit more for around about $17. Um, I, you do use a lot of this, but I'm just probably going to use around about I'm going to use a kilo of mince because I want to try and get a few more and keep them in the fridge for lunch times. Something for me to eat or just go to when I want something to eat, but or even to freeze a few meat patties down. You don't get a lot. If you make the meat patties this way, they'll probably work out like a dollar each if you don't put breadcrumbs with them easily. Okay, so I've got minced meat. So I basically put, um, I basically just make the meat patties up with onion, or sometimes I use French onion soup mix, and that's really good because. The onion doesn't um, tear away from like the mince. It it it, it really makes it solid together. The um, French onion soup. But I'm going to use two onions and I'm going to finely chop them because I don't like them bulky because that makes it crumble. And I'm going to put the onion with the the mince. I've got some Worcestershire sauce here as well, and also I've got Vegemite. Now I don't know. Some people hate Vegemite. And, um, but you don't have to put Vegemite in it. I put Vegemite, a big spoonful of Vegemite in because when you're frying the meat patties, it goes really, um, you know that really um, burnt, sort of sweet sort of a taste, oh, it's salty, it's beautiful. I love it like that at the end. So I put um, Vegemite in it and Worcestershire sauce, onions, and also the mince. And basically that's all I put that's the that's the only ingredients that I put into my hamburgers. I've just got a can of beetroot here to go on top of it, and I'm also just going to put um, I'm also just going to put some salad mix as well. So we're just going to have like the salad mix with it as something easy. And I do have a lettuce, but I'll probably end up eating that one. And I've got some meat, some hamburger buns as well. I mean. We can put cheese on it. There's all sorts of things we can do there. But that's um, that's the basic ingredients just for what I'm going to be using for, for my hamburgers this week. Okay, the next meal I've got here is a corned beef. So this is possibly going to be for Tuesday night and Wednesday night here. I absolutely love making meals that last for two nights. It just makes that meal planning so much easier. Okay, so I've got a pretty large corned beef here. This was... Uh, much a kilo, ten dollars a kilo this week. Um, Fifteen twenty-two is how much it was. It's a one point five, a little bit over one point five kilos. Okay, so that's a, a good size corned beef. That's going to last us for two nights. An onion. I'm going to put a carrot into the um, like the water with the corned beef as well. That's normally what I do. You can also put celery in, and also you can put the potatoes in. You can put everything in the cooker. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm possibly going to do it that way. Um, okay, so going back, I've got corned beef, I've got an onion, I've got a carrot, I've got some potatoes, and I've also got some cloves here, which you need, and also some bay leaves, which I'm going to put in as well. And I've got some peppercorns, and I've got some malt vinegar, so I put like around about a half a cup to a cup of vinegar in that. And I've also got some brown sugar, and I put that in as well. Now I have got a video that I made probably on one of my first or second videos that I ever did 
and I'll link that below on how I do the corned beef. It's really easy. You don't have to put a lot of things in it. It's just basically throw it in and leave it for five, six hours and it's cooked. But the slow cooker I find cooks the best corned beef. I just, I've never made a mistake with it. Sometimes when I used to put it on the pot on the stove, it was just so, you know, the, the temperature would change and it was a disaster. The meat was tough. I find this way you always get tender corned beef. And usually with our corned beef, we just have like a side of cabbage with it and the potatoes with it as well. Um, yeah, so, but I am gonna put the potato and the carrot in the cooker together, just makes it easier. I don't have to worry about that later on. And I'm going to put the cabbage on afterwards. So that will go with it. So that's just the corned beef and that'll last for two nights. So that makes it a lot easier that way. And on the second night, a salad mix. So I can have, I can have um, like a salad mix with the corned beef on the next night as well. If I've got some of that left over, which I will, if the date hasn't been used up on it by then, sort of have to check the dates on that sort of thing. But I do have lettuce in the fridge as well. So probably the second night I'll make a, a corned beef salad. So we'll have like a corned beef on the first night with the veggies. And on the second night, we're just gonna have a corned beef salad. And I just might more or less shred the, or chop the corned beef up into cubes, put it with the salad mix, mix it all up, put some toppings on it. Um, and also just put some more balsamic vinegar there. We'll use that up and some other sauces. It just makes it a lot easier to do it that way. And the corned beef is such a good thing because it, it just gets away to, gets, it gets two meals out the way for the week. And that works out so much cheaper too for a family. I'm gonna show you what's going in, what I've got. For, this is for the desserts this week. I usually show you two desserts this week. I'm not gonna do any baking this week because um, my son's like got excursions and um, we're doing so much things, so many things this week. So I've just bought some other things instead of cooking, yay. But I did wanna do like a bake. So um, I've got some things in the freezer, um, yeah, to give him anyway. But yeah, so I've got some Pampers lemon meringue pies. These are so good. I really love these, so I did pay about $5.80 for these this week, but they're yummy. So that's gonna be our dessert this week. Doesn't need cream, doesn't need ice cream. It's got everything in it, so it's sweet enough as it is. And I love these, you just have to defrost them early enough, they're just delicious. And I've also got the custard tart mix, which we're gonna have on a night as well. This one looks a little bit complicated, that's why I haven't done it, but it looks really yummy and I really wanna use it, it's just that Sometimes when I look at ingredients like this, I sort of turn off, but I'm gonna look into it and I'm gonna cook it. So that's the custard tart mix. These are so handy. I really like the idea of having these in the pantry. Even if you know that there's people coming up or you're having visitors and you can make it even the night before, they're a really good idea. Well, that's our grocery haul today and our um, meal planning or um, showing you what I'm gonna put in my ingredients for the week. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. It was a little bit new to me to do it that way, but I really like to show you what is going into the meals that I'm cooking, just not telling you what's going in as well. So if you like the way I do this, let me know so I can continue to do it, so I can continue to do it the next time as well. Thank you for coming and looking at the Coles haul today, and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone, bye.